Oh, and here we are. We're leaving the actual Port Orleans Riverside. We're going to get out of the way because here comes another horsey pulling a carriage. And we're, we're making a walk over to the Port Orleans French Quarters. Wave to the horsey. What a pretty horse. And they got the ride going on. And here comes a boat. I saw a boat. I just went by. Oh, they got the pirate little flag on the front of the boat there. A lot of people coming tonight. I'm trying to squeeze on through the people here. Yes. Like golf course going through. Over here is one of the bridges that you cross. You want to do the shooting, buddy, or you want me to? You can. I think I might take a break on that. I'm still recovering. Let me let me hand that off to Morgan. Hey, at least this isn't as heavy. Yeah, you shoot them a little better on the fly like that than I do. I'm like, I'm like bouncing up and down back there if they got all this stuff on. And as you can see to the left, you see the eye catching Sasagola River. Are you sure that's the Sasagola River? Are you making that up? Nope. It doesn't sound good. Me too. Let you guys in for a fun fact. Marley is tired of walking. That is probably no surprise. You get a little bit of scenery on the walk here. It's going to open up a little more after we get underneath the main bridge up here. Waiting for Marley to catch up. And it's dinner time right now, so everybody's coming in from the parks. They're all going back to get dinner to change all the little pool. After a long day in the parks, I can understand why they're going to the pools. Well, most of them will come out and they'll go and eat right off the bat, so a lot of them will probably have reservations at the uh, restaurants and stuff. <laughs> so down here you're going to notice you got one of the bridgeways that you're going to cross with the uh, little Surrey bike, so you can go up above and come back this way. The boats go under that. That's going to take you all the way down to Disney Springs, the former uh, downtown Disney. I always point that out. I don't know why. It's because I've called it Disney Springs for so long, or downtown Disney for so long. And up there is Port Orleans French Quarters. Don't know if you can see it exactly yet. When we get up here, you will. Yeah, once you get up under the bridge, the scenery changes uh, dramatically. It gets real pretty seeing the uh, French quarters coming into sight. The variety of color. Right here, we're kind Beautiful. of stuck in the parking lot, the bridge. This is pretty much the outskirts of the resort here. So now we're gonna cross into the second side of it. And as you can see, we're now exiting Riverside and heading into French Quarter. Actually, I'm going to have to do some research on my own here. 
but if anybody knows if these were both originally connected as this used to be the Dixie Landings, that used to be the Port Orleans, were they always the same resort with different names or did they just recently become Port Orleans, Port Orleans? And put that down if you want to send us a comment on that. I'd appreciate it. If not, we'll do some homework on that and get back to you guys. If this was all originally the same resort or if they were different. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to hit us up in the comments. Or if we mess something up. Yes. Please correct us. We get several corrections. You know what I think it is, Morgan? When we're walking, I look just like uh, occasionally I'm talking and I get caught in like a loop because you're seeing something come into sight. You're watching where you're yeah. going and you're trying to take in something else and then you're in the middle of a conversation so you forget or you just stop for a second until you catch up to everything. That just cracked me up. Because he was so... With the amount of walking we're doing, shouldn't be any surprise. So, up here, this is French Quarter. This is French Quarter up here. And back behind us is Riverside. Used to bench, yep, we got one, that one over there. And this is the uh, French quarters all coming into view. Very pretty, very pretty, especially at nighttime. If you like nice photos, I'll be sitting here all day just waiting for the perfect photo with nobody in the background. You might even get it tonight. This amazing color variety, it just brings life. What are you, a poet now? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's amazing as you'd think you'd see a lot of people up on these uh, balconies walking around and really it's like one, one set of people up here to the right. Everyone else at these buildings are just quiet. They're either down in the parks at the restaurants or maybe even at the pool. Could be anywhere, it's just weird. You think you'd see a lot of people. So it's really a weird spring break this year. Hello. Uh, yeah. The walking is a little bit of a killer, but <sighs> trying to get through it. Yeah, Marley's had enough walking. Yeah. Our current setup. If anybody else wants to climb on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> feel free. Marley, what's, what's your brother filming? I hope French he's getting quarters. a nice video in. Yeah, you know what? I I I really hope so too. Me too. Look at this courtyard. This is this is beautiful here. We got this little area, nobody sitting at all. Sitting beautiful there. Picture opportunity right there, boy. Just now, if you didn't come to these resorts, you wouldn't know about these spots. And you could actually come here with the family and get the best pictures. And if you don't walk around, you're never gonna know. Sometimes just sitting and getting a little sun can help. But just think, you and me came down last time we did this, we did Almost 50 miles I'm probably going to need a little walking. sun. I don't know if you can see, but uh, around here, I have a mask mark. I think everybody has I'm gonna mask use spring. I'm going to use spring break to my advantage to get rid of this. And as always, uh, yeah, I'll keep chucking that out there. If you guys are coming anytime soon, week to week, you know, we're here all the time. And 
it's always changing no matter where you are so the mask mandate sometimes you need them sometimes you don't have one handy if not be prepared to spend a little extra on a mask yeah they say they're really really good masks though so if you're gonna buy one they're really really good yeah because right now apparently what i heard was you need it on some of the transportation not all the transportation but now it's down to some of the transportation and only in some of the buildings so it's still out there people still getting sick but just be careful that's all we can say be careful everybody wants to have a good time but it's not really good to have a good time and then go home sick and if you do have a run-in with us don't be afraid to say hi we don't bite Last time we were here, they were redoing these uh, little boat launches, Bubber. I wonder if they finished them. They had them all stripped down and closed off. I wonder if they refinished the outsides of them. I think they were putting new wood down. It looks like it's all done. I mean, it does. Yeah, it, it's all open. Yeah, it, it looks newer. Yep, that's... Yeah, show them inside there, Bubba. Yeah, so last time we were here, all this wood was all torn out. And they were redoing it all. So it looks like they finished it. It's all back. Yep. Nice and up above, Port Orleans Riverside and Port Orleans French Quarters. They are probably two of my top favorites. Morgan, get a shot at a pool. They're amazing. And here we have the pool. You able to get up over that with the camera, or you need me to? I think I got it. Get it all around there, Paul. But this is the dragon pool, and the eyes and the dragon light up. Up on top where the little kid's sitting right now. You need to get down? Hold on my neck tight. And put you down, okay? There you go. Yeah, up on top, you see the dragon's eyes. Yeah, if you see the dragon's eyes light up, there's also a little red uh, light so the kids know when to go down the slide safely. They used to have people up on the top, but now I think they rely on the red lights. And then you've got like a walk-in up on top. you got a walk-out balcony. We're actually going to go on in so we'll see all that. Me and Morgan are going to swap off the cameras right now. So oh, shakiness. Yeah, so here's the actual pool, and then the big part of the tail up there is actually a steps to take you up from one side to the other. You got your clam over here that shoots the water on down, and they got a really good kids water section up over the top. We're going to go on the outside, Bubber. Yeah, I want to show them on the outside the little kids section and take them to the end here. Yeah, excuse all the shaking of the camera, we're swapping hands back there. I'll try to edit some of that out. And so the buildings keep carrying on. Part of the resort comes right on down here. It goes down all the way. I don't know if you guys can see, but in front of the gentleman in the uh, yellowish green shirt there, way down, probably another, maybe a thousand foot in front of them, maybe a little less. That's where the buildings come to an end. So that's the end of the French Quarter. So they got these little, when you're coming down, they've got these little sections here where back in the day, you would have the horses and they'd tie up to the little posts right here. But this is the outside of the pool, so we're just going on the outside of the pool, showing you a little bit here. The street lights that light up here. We're actually from up in the Boston area, and uh, they had the lamps up there that light up with the little fires, it's the oil lamps. And that goes way back to the beginning, I guess way back to the beginning of the nation. So it's cool to see. We actually went into Boston one night and got to see all the lights lit up. And I guess they used to go out and have somebody light them, but I think they have a uh, have them on some kind of a sensor thing now where they turn on and off. But here's the kids section here. This was in here a couple years back. 
we moved away in 2015, 2016, and this really wasn't here. They might have started the process, I think, but it wasn't there. And we actually came and did a shoot not that long ago, and uh, I got really good weather on that, and it's an awesome little kids section, very awesome. Real fun for the kids. We'll go in, we're gonna end up doing another full pool shoot anyway. We get a lot of people. I used to just do the uh, videos of the resorts and we tried to expand on some of that, but we get a lot of people asking us to do the actual pools now. So we're just gonna start doing a full run of pools. I'm gonna have a full web page of just the pools on property. That way you don't gotta waste your time going through all the uh, web pages and stuff, looking at all the, uh, or going through the YouTube channel and trying to find something. You'll be able to just go in there and find them quick. And that's the little playground. They didn't have a lot of playgrounds a couple years back and now they're all over the place.